says cases and hospitalizations surge and the need for medical staff at hospitals is dire here in the Austin area. The travel staffing company Aya Healthcare says it has 400 job openings and KVU's Derenisha Heron shows us it's not just COVID that's leading to shortages. Okay. Hospitals are overwhelmed. The need for help is urgent. Aya Healthcare said it's seeing the largest wave of requests for travel nurses and other medical staff since the start of the pandemic. Hospitals are calling and saying, okay, we need people now. We're either going to have to turn away patients because we don't have the staff to be able to take them. Um, we're willing to, you know, do quicker onboarding processes. Sophia to- Morris said Texas leads the country in requests for help. Also, we're seeing roughly 6,500 needs right now. That's um, definitely a couple thousand uh, increase over the previous month. With an increase in demand is an increase in pay. Because it's it's really hard work, particularly in, in these COVID units. Morris said in Texas, rates are back up to between $4,000 and $5,000 a week and rising. During surges last year, rates were as high as $10,000 a week. But this time around, nurses aren't stretching themselves as thin. You know, I think nurse burnout has had a factor in this. I'm not seeing as many people that are wanting to work 60 hours a week, which completely makes sense. Um, but I think a lot of hospitals are starting to you know, be flexible with wanting nurses to work, you know, 48 hours a week. Morris said burnout Fewer hours, elective surgeries, and this COVID surge created the perfect storm to rock the health care system. In Austin, I'm Derenisha Heron. In recent months, some medical professionals have left hospitals in Texas over COVID-19 vaccine requirements. Houston Methodist lost 153 staff members over its shot mandate. And in a lawsuit that was dismissed, more than 100 of those employees said they felt like, quote, human guinea pigs. Some local hospitals plan to mandate vaccines for all their staff later this year. Today, Ascension told us they're not sure if their rule will apply to nurses deployed by the state. But Baylor Scott and White says their rule will apply to any state contractors they get.